First of all, your photos aren't boring, but if you're looking to add more to a photo that's easy to achieve, then this trick will give you a more dynamic image using just a few simple tools right in Photoshop. This editing effect will add to select parts of your image to paint a more interesting story that will create a feeling of urgency and a general sense of emotion. I find it's best used in nighttime type of photography, but tag me on Instagram if you end up using it in a different type of photo. I'd love to see what you create. All right, switching over my monitor here, I have this image pulled up of my dear friend. It was taken at nighttime at a park and I was using a flash to use as my key light. I thought this was a great image to use because as you can see, there's a lot of cars in the background and a little bit of like street light going on. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is copy your background layer. I'm just gonna hit Control J. I think it's Command J on a Apple computer. Um, and I'm just gonna name this the blur layer, not blood. <laughs> Okay, then you'll hide the background layer and you'll notice your image will look exactly the same as a, a direct copy. Then you'll want to grab the erase tool, let's bump up the size just a touch, and just go to town with getting rid of your image. Go ahead and unhide that background layer and click on the history brush tool. This is where we can get really creative. I suggest selecting parts that are more highlighted. So like for this image, I'm gonna go over the handlebars and parts of the bike here. And I'm gonna do a lot with the, the cars here as well as some, some parts of the clothing. You can decide what parts to bring back in your image, but I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the history brush here and start kind of highlighting the parts I wanna bring back. It can be messy, it doesn't have to be so clean and cut and dry. Again, I'm just gonna go over some parts of the cars that I wanna bring back, elements of the clothing, and again, parts of the bike. So I've captured everything that I want to bring back. If you click on the unhide button for the background layer again, you're going to see this like weird blobs all over your image. These are the elements that are actually going to get blurred out and it will be added to the original image. So to do that, let's go ahead and bring back the background layer, hit filter, blur, then motion blur, and you'll already start to see some distortion happening in the image. So you can mess with the intensity of the blur and also the angle, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep it at zero. I think this looks pretty good. So you'll notice that um, it's kind of interfering with my subject's face, so easy fix. You'll just hit the erase brush and just kind of erase elements that you don't really want to keep. It looks pretty good. I really like the blur effect that's happening on the bike here, specifically the handlebar, but I think I want to do a little bit more with the cars in the background. I actually think it'll look better if I add more lights into the background, if I add like fake tailgates and headlights and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a brand new layer. It doesn't need to be a copy. I'm gonna call this the color layer. So I'm gonna grab the brush tool and I'm going to hold the alt button. You'll see this little eyedropper icon pop up and I'm just gonna add little fake headlights. And I'm actually just gonna like smear it out a little bit. Notice that my lines look pretty damn straight. It's because I'm holding the shift button and that'll, that'll really help to create a really sharp line. All right, looks pretty good, looks pretty crazy. Same thing, hit filter, blur, then motion blur. You'll see the effect starting to happen. And ooh, I really like that effect. It looks really good already. I'm just mess around with the opacity just a little bit. Okay, let's go with that. I'm just gonna go around and clean up some of the, some areas. I wanna retain some of that detail in her shoes. I'll get rid of that one, but I think I'm gonna leave the one that's going across her forehead there. I'm gonna decrease the opacity just a touch on this image. I think it's a little bit loud, but I think about there it looks pretty good. And there you go. This Photoshop editing effect will easily add some spice to your photos post-production, but if you're looking to improve your composition during your photo shoot, then I highly recommend watching this video here. I go over some common mistakes that I see all the time from beginner photographers and also more experienced photographers that you can avoid. Thanks for watching, but I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, see you, <laughs>